Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Ooh, 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 ooh. So, if you caught my previous live, I am getting ready to make our sweet potato honey bun cake. So, this cake has been stalking me on the interwebs for several weeks now. And I have had it sent to me by my child. I have seen it on my timeline. And then Miss Donna, beautiful to creations by Donna, um, made her version on her channel. I will put the link below so you can see her version of the sweet potato honey bun cake. So I am making it. Today is Thanksgiving. Um, you'll probably get this video tomorrow because, you know, we did a live this morning. Um, if y'all was in the live, y'all saw me make the collard greens and prepping our chicken and stuff like that. So that's not the point. The point is we're making this honey bun cake today. All right. So you're going to need some ingredients. I am using sour cream, not sour cream, cream cheese in mine. We have our potatoes, sweet potatoes. This is roasted. You see the sugary roastedness of it all. We smash these up in here. This is about two cups of sweet potato. We might not have to use all of that, but we might. I'm using some, whoop. it's been a long morning. I'm using some yellow cake mix. I know, don't come for me in the comments because what I call this is a bammed up box cake. It's not a f officially a scratch cake, but because we're not following the directions on the back, this is from scratch, yeah. <laughs> okay. We have, by the way, the cream cheese is room temperature. We have four room temperature eggs. We have our three fourths cup of vegetable oil got our vanilla and in this we have our honey bun goodness okay so this is brown sugar and cinnamon it smells so good smell smell um miss donna used nutmeg in hers i'm not doing that i'm not as big a fan of nutmeg as she is um so yeah that's the difference in ours. Um, you add what you want to yours, okay? That's your business, darling, in my in my Tabitha Brown voice. All right? Okay. Now, one thing I have to say is very important to get your um, get your uh, strings out of your sweet potatoes. So I'm going to show you really quickly how to do that in the video so that you don't have stringy sweet potatoes some some sweet potatoes don't have a lot of strings but i'm going to show you what i mean by get your strings out of your sweet potatoes okay all right we'll be back i'm going to show you i'm going to show you if you're new here i'm official jamie by the way this is bonnet bacon that's why we got on our bonnet also we're trying to keep hair out of the food okay all right, let's 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 set it up for the next scene, okay? Just give me give me a second. Alrighty, let's get our sweet potatoes into the bowl. Now, this is this step is optional, y'all. But I don't want. First of all, why is my camera so blurry? Ah, there you go. All right. This step is optional for those who are new here. I personally do want do not want strings in my sweet potatoes, okay? All right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to blend it a little bit.
you see those? Can you, you see these little doohickeys right there? That's the strings we're trying to keep out of your pies and or cakes. All right, so we're going to arrange this off. Hold on. All right, so the people on the interwebs do this a little different. I'm doing it my way. So we're going to add our oil. Okay. Get all your oil out of there. I'm going to add our eggs. We're not trying to mess up a whole lot of dishes, y'all. Wow. Well, it don't feel like you got more space. Production is production over here. Okay. <laughs> What is with that weird fake laugh? Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> what is that fake laugh? That's the, I'm forced to go to Thanksgiving even though we ain't got no medicine. Oh my god, let it go. <laughs> Never. Okay. Just kidding. Anyway. Cream cheese. Mmm. Yeah. There it is. I love cream cheese. Let's see. I love cream cheese, babe. Mm -hmm. Cream cheese is so good. All right. Get all your cream cheese, y'all. We ain't wasting no money so over here, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, get off of this. All right, we're gonna cream this together first, and then we're gonna add our cake mix, okay? vanilla so we're gonna put in the vanilla the correct measurements will be in the description below y'all know I cook from the spirit so don't judge me judge your mama anyway babe, can you get the pan for me please man I don't forget all right we're also gonna go ahead and add our cake mix all right huh. I'm going to do a dash of cinnamon, even though we have cinnamon in the other part, I'm just going to add a little to the batter. That's optional, y'all. You don't have to do that. Thank you. Take it out. They in and folks added orange to the thing. I'm not doing that. It's orange enough. You see it? You see it? It smells delicious. Oop. You don't smell? 
No. Okay. All right. Now we're going to put it in our pan. Hold on. All right. So now we're going to, my pan has been thoroughly, thoroughly sprayed with Baker's Joy. And we're going to put some of our batter in the bottom. Not all of it. Okay. Come on. There you go. Get it all spread out like so. And a little bit more. Okay. This cake is meant to be very easy, y'all. Do not stress yourself about this cake. This is a bound up box cake. And we trying to make our family happy with our lovely cake. All right, so we got that. Then we're gonna take our cinnamon and sugar mixture and put that in the middle. You wanna get that all over your cake mixture. If y'all like honey buns, you know the cinnamon is like the best part. I'm a big fan of cinnamon honey buns with the glaze on it. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. I probably made too much of this, but mind your business. Take your insulin. You'll be all right. <laughs> You want everybody to get some, so push it all the way to the edge, okay? Again, the correct measurements will be in the description box. All right, all right. Cinnamon smelling so good. Yeah. Get it all over. Okay, all right, then we're gonna put our rest of our batter on top. The batter is gonna be a little thicker. If you wanna use milk or water to thin out your batter, that's up to you, but like a thick, thick batter, thick like me. <laughs> yeah, my. Anyways, all right. Get all your batter. Spread that out. Get it off your sides. Okay. Get over there. Get get to the corner. All right. The other thing that I've seen people do, let me wash my hands. Oh, okay. The other thing I've seen people do is take your tool and just swirl it a little bit so you kind of get some in your batter, the little crunchy parts. So we're just going to swirl it. This is optional as well. But we want to get that good cinnamon throughout your cake. All right. 
You know what I'm saying? Okay. I know it's good. I ain't even got crazy. It smells amazing. I just made a mess. All right. All right. So this is going to go in the oven at 350 for about 40 to 45 minutes, depending on your oven. All right. We'll be back. All right. I decided to kick my cake up a notch. We got a little melted butter. We're making our glaze, but instead of putting it on after the cake cools, we're gonna put it on while it's still in the oven. So, gonna do a little bit of that. A little bit of vanilla. Now, if you've seen my pistachio cake recipe, this is basically what we do with the pistachio cake. Stir it up. Alright. Add just a tiny, just a little water. This part is optional. You don't have to put your glaze on while the cake is hot. But that's you want this to use a little bit at a time. You don't want it too runny. But you want it runny enough. enough to cover the whole cake so Take your fork or skewer in this case, and you're gonna poke it throughout the cake. All right, because you want your glaze to sink down in the cake, so it, it'll everybody will get a little little taste. your glaze is loose enough to pour out. I'm just giving it a stir, y'all. All righty. That's perfect. Now you're going to take it and pour it over your cake holes. burn your hand most people would pull this out of the oven and do it <laughs> but I have to be extra <laughs> stupid stupid extra <laughs> All right. Oop. try not to drip it on your oven now, I have a mess to clean. Lord have mercy. Okay. I'm going to pour this over 
over. There we go. All right, we're gonna sit that back in there just for a few more minutes, and then we'll show you the finished result. Okay. Yo, I wish y'all had smell of vision. This smells so good. We are gonna let it cool off for a few minutes, and then we are gonna cut it and let y'all know if it tastes fire. We'll be back. Don't eat none while I'm gone, okay? Don't, don't eat it, okay? okay. I look a mess. Okay. Look at it, y'all. Ooh. Okay, put it down. Okay. Hold the cake up. It's so moist, it's falling apart. You didn't even show them the cinnamon in you. This. It's good, y'all. Okay, hold on. That was the piece you wanted. This oh, one. well. I'm here now. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. We didn't even let it cool down enough. But, baby, when I tell you this thing is merged, <laughs> it's merged. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm gonna hurt myself. <sighs> if you have the beaties. Give me a win. <laughs> I'm getting a two finger whooping. This y'all hold this. It's perfect. It's. I'm so glad I this did. This is the best thing you ever made. We say that every time. I feel like doing the glaze in the oven made it even more moist. So if you don't like your cake to be moist, don't do that step. But if you like it, yeah. Can you see that? You see? You see that layer? Of, oh my. Mm. Let me get that away. Listen. I'm about to eat it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna eat it. We may be fighting over this cake later. Um, make this cake. As you can see. Is that two? That's the two? That was one. Because I'm going to make a regular center, um, honey bun cake. Tomorrow? Okay. All right. <laughs> you want to close out the video, Miss Munchy Crunch? Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. I look a mess. Thank y'all so much for joining us for another successful bonnet baking. Make this cake. Make it. I mean, thank me later. Um. Mm. Th th ain't no, ain't no more on the plate, y'all. Yeah. All right. I thank y'all so much for joining me for another bonnet baking. Um, you you want to say back to? Um, sorry, multiple things going on in the background. Jesus. What was I supposed to say? Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Merry you, Christmas. Right? Happy New Year. Whenever y'all watching this video, please enjoy and have a safe holiday. Um, holidays and don't forget to like comment and subscribe I'm official Jamia that was dark and lovely aka my child aka the taste tester and my sous chef all right we love y'all and ain't nothing you can do about it I'll see y'all on the next video I'm I don't know if this is gonna make it to my mama house don't tell her I said that all right love you bye <laughs>